hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial so this is part two of the google maps scraper and on this video we will explain three things so first thing is that we will talk about fixing some of the issues that you guys have mentioned and secondly we will see how we can scrape the reviews and finally we will see how we can implement the scrolling feature so basically the scrolling feature will help you scrape even more data so let me go ahead and just show you how the new scraper works so i will go to my terminal and before running the code if you guys have watched the previous video you will notice something here so we still have the search parameter but we don't have the location parameter and that's because now the search parameter contains everything so wherever you want to search for you can just type it in here and also we have this new dash t parameter which stands for total so now that we have the scrolling feature we can decide how many listings do we want so this entire thing translates to give me five doctors from london and of course you can specify any number you want so let me first run the code and show you what will happen so if i run my code we can see that this browser window pops up it will type london dr london it will go to the maps and then it will start scrolling in here and scraping each one of them let's wait for it to finish so it's taken a bit of time because i've enabled the the pausing time let's say but in your case you can just remove that i just want to show you what will happen so now that it finished let me go to my file or let's say folder we have this new files let me open the excel one and let me make this a bit bigger so the name the address, the website, and the phone number were present in the previous scraper. But now, as you can see, we have the reviews count and the reviews average. So if I go here, for example, this one, the reviews average is this one, 4.9 stars. And the reviews count is this one, 1,472. So if you guys want to scrape like i don't know maybe these reviews right here i didn't implement this in this video maybe i will implement it in a next video so let's check the code and get started so before starting coding i want to point out again that this is a follow-up to a previous video so all the code that you are seeing right now has been written on the previous video I highly advise you to go and watch that first to understand what you are doing here because otherwise you won't be able to understand so let's get started and the first thing to talk about are the issues so some of you guys mentioned that this column right here turns out to be blank for some cases and I did already fix that by simply changing this xpath right here the name xpath because in the world of web scraping if something changes on the website you will need to update the xpath otherwise it won't get it because it doesn't exist anymore and secondly i did add these lines of code right here so previously we were just scraping everything directly the name the address and all of that now we are first checking if the element exists before scraping it if it does exist you will just scrape it else you will assign an empty string to that field and this is how we do it in playwright we will just get the first element and then we will call the count method if the count is superior to zero we will scrape it otherwise it doesn't exist and we will just assign an empty string value to that 
and as you can see I did that for all the fields the name the address the website and the phone number so this will avoid us from falling into any kind of error now let's talk about how we can scrape reviews so the first thing to do is to add the reviews fields to our business data class as follows so the reviews count is an integer and the reviews average is a float secondly we need to add the xpath of the reviews so i already went ahead and extracted the xpath so that we don't waste any time so this is our xpath that we need and then we need to scrape the fields so first of all we need to check if it exists as we did with the previous ones if it does exist you will scrape both of them else you will just assign both of them to an empty string and as you can see the reviews average is a float and the reviews count is an integer and also I applied some python stuff here to clean our data better so now we can pass to the scrolling feature so first of all let's go ahead and implement the total argument and same as we did with this one we will do the same except this one is the total and it's an integer after that we will check if the user entered a total argument we will set that as our total else we will default the total to 10 so after that let's implement our logic and we will start with first asking the browser to hover over the first listing and the reason we are doing this is because so whenever we enter this let's say okay so we don't want our cursor to hover over the map we want it to hover in here so that whenever we scroll new listings would appear so this is very important and this depends on whatever website you are scraping so each website has its own features and tricks and all of that so let me go back to vs code and after we hovered over the first listing we will set a while true loop and inside the loop we will ask the browser to scroll the mouse so basically this is the function to scroll in playwright this is the y and this is the x and we want our x to scroll down i choose 10,000 because that's like a standard number but depending on the website you will choose whatever you want like 5,000, 10,000 experiment with that and then come up with the better number and with each scroll i'm pausing for three seconds just so that you see guys what's going on but you can obviously remove this and with each scroll i want to get all the listings and then get the count of them and if the count of them is superior or equal to our total i want the scraper to get all the listings and then to just give us our defined number so let me explain this so let's say we just want like 30 listings but when we scrolled 40 appeared so it will get all the 40 and then it will limit them to 30 and you will just get 30 at the end it will print that so that we know how much we got and it will break from the loop else if we didn't get enough number it will just print how much we are getting right now and the loop will keep on looping and this is basically it this is the new implementation of the code so before running it this code will be on my github i will post the link below and if you guys have any questions or maybe if you find any errors please do comment them out let me save this let me open my terminal and let's get six doctors from paris let me hit enter and as you can see the browser popped up it will go to doctor paris 
as you can see right here. It will scroll once. So let me show you that total script. So this is this one right here. So basically with the first scroll, it did met our condition. So it will go over each one of them. The six first, I mean, it will scrape them and it will close the browser. So let's wait for it to finish. And again, this code will be present on GitHub. As you can see, all went well. Let me open this. Okay, it's this one right here. Let's check this one. And as you can see, okay, maybe it's better if I open the finder, which is this one right here. And let's, okay, let me first close the old one don't save and let me open this one and as you can see this is the new data this is the name the address the website the phone number the count the review count and the review average and of course, if like the, web, the phone number or the website is not present, it won't script. And one thing I want to mention is that, so for example, if you check this address, you will see that it's in French or like the name is in French or something like that. This is something that I noticed. And that's because that's the language set for my browser. So depending on the language on your computer, you will get the scraping based on that basically so this is it thank you for watching i hope that you subscribe to my channel and like the video and again if you have any comments or something like that comment them below thank you